Hello, I'm Carl Bettiger, and I'm here to talk about FE's cyber infrastructure for doing ecological forecasting. So a typical research workflow looks something like this, where you have input and you write some analysis code uh, to generate some outputs. Could be data, could be favors, could be figures. The forecasting workflow is a bit more complex because it must be structured in time. So initially, you must process the raw data into the target variables that you're trying to forecast, and then you can generate your actual forecast of future events. And then at some point in the future, you get new raw data, for the same variables that you have not yet observed. You can again generate the target variables that you're trying to predict, and you can compare those target variables that are actually um, observed at that time from those that you forecast, and you can create a score. This is more complex still in an iterative structure where you're doing repeated forecasting. We have the initial forecast, the comparison of that forecast to the observed values, and then that itself allows you to make a new forecast that you might modify your methods. Uh, you might change some of the choices of input data, and then you can only score your new forecast when you wait again until you have new observations in the future. So pop quiz, which one of these files are the same at each step? And of course, the answer is that it depends. We might hope that we're using the same code, for instance, to process the raw data each time. But if we find some reason that that would be wrong, that will impact our score if we adjust that code. Uh, we expect that we adjust the code that we use, for instance, to generate the forecast. And that could or could not actually result in a different forecast and uh, that could or could not actually result in us getting different scores. So as we move through each of these processes, we want to know why a forecast score has improved, say, we need to be able to track this record of which files have changed, which methods have changed, and which have not. So good cyber infrastructure will help us do that. Good cyber infrastructure will mostly be invisible in the background. Uh, it should be agnostic to our choice of platforms, and it does that providing us good abstractions. Our approach for this goes something as follows. First, we establish buckets for each of the data types. So raw data, mostly coming from NEON, can go into our NEON store bucket uh, in the lower left. The target variables we derive from that raw data, representing what we're, the things we're actually trying to forecast, are in a bucket called targets. Each forecast produced by any team involved in EPI gets input ported into the forecast bucket, and of course, scores go into the scores bucket. And the record and relationships between each of the files is kept in this provenance information uh, represented in RDF. So these buckets sit inside a system uh, based on MinIO, which is an open source implementation of the Amazon S3 system and uses the same API. That itself is packaged up into a Docker container uh, and joins the infrastructure with several other Docker containers using Rocker, a set of cron jobs. Uh, so on a particular calendar schedule, run R scripts that will execute each of the workflows uh, that need to be run regularly, such as downloading new data or turning the raw data into new target files or scoring any forecasts that have been added into the buckets. Lastly, a third container for visualization based on R Shiny provides an interactive way to explore the scores and forecasts being produced. All of this lives up in the cloud layer. And so our user is down here. The container is run in a cloud system. We're using the Exceed platform funded by NSF. And the user can interact, of course, with each of these through a series of APIs or through uh, standard platforms like a, a web browser. Uh, that lets the user focus down here on generating their forecast in this simplified workflow, figuring out sort of what targets, drivers, or raw data goes into their forecast, and then being able to push it up to this ecosystem. Of course, there are many different kinds of forecasts, and so we have many different files. To address this, FE has developed metadata standards based on the ecological metadata language that is already widely used in ecology and provides a EFI standards tool, which you can run uh, to generate this little bit of metadata that gets attached to your forecast that lets it play within our ecosystem. And so overall, the cyber infrastructure looks like this, where these bits and pieces for storing, scoring, and visualizing are up in the cloud layer and the user focuses down here. So learn more about our projects at each of these links.
And I'd like to say special thanks to my co-developer, Quinn Thomas, to many in the FE community and the open source community on which we have relied. Thank you.